One of the greatest relationships that can be found in the National Guard is that of the families and the Family Readiness Support staff. This is because the Family Readiness Support Assistant are one of the avenues for families to use before they get to the commander. Often the relationship between the commander and the families have not been developed to a point where they feel comfortable coming to them with these problems. The FRSAs also act as a subject matter expert for the commanders to guide them through the process of developing resilient families. I found while doing my lit review that there have always been issues with the relationship between FRSAs and military families. By acting as liaison between family readiness groups and the command, as well as the subject matter expert for the command in matters of family readiness, rarely does the family readiness support assistant have time to do process improvement. In my literature review, I have discovered that this is a necessary step, and through my capstone, I will show that this is not an extra step, but a necessary one. As Houston, Ross, and Robertson, and Malcolm showed in their literature. With many process improvements, the largest enemy seems to be time. With limited amount of time devoted to the task of improving communications and developing strong communities of practice, there are often cut corners. These shortcuts only serve to limit the effectiveness of the process, sometimes even sabotaging it in total as can be seen in Peterson, Ruby Davis, Ellie and Brown, Wilson, Dixon, and Irving's research. As in any situation where cooperation can improve a scenario, you must deal with the biases that enter the relationship first. It is difficult to recognize these, but when they are identified, every effort should be made to remove them to increase the clarity of communication and the depth of the partnership. In the literature review, I found a community of practice needs to be created because that is another way to have an open and free communication because it is fully understood that all parties are working for the same goals, as seen in Wag by Wagner. The community of practice is a partnership between two or more groups working towards a common goal. It also represents the tearing down of barriers and letting down of the guard between the parties to find a way to work together, as can be seen in Smith, Connell, Wright, Sizer and Norman's research. In the literature review, I found a community of practice needs to be created because that is another way to have an open and free communication because it is fully understood that all parties are working for the same goals, as seen in Wag by Wagner. The community of practice is a partnership between two or more groups working towards a common goal. It also represents the tearing down of barriers and letting down of the guard between the parties to find a way to work together as can be seen in Smith, Connell, Wright, Sizer, and Norman's research. Quite simply, the role of the FRSA is to track and train soldiers and their families to ensure that, that the command is successful in developing resilient families. These resilient families can be called upon to handle the ever-changing climate and requirements of being a military family. The command will have to continually change and improve their methods of dealing with families. With this action research, it is desired that the positive effect of developing effective communication will be seen so that the adequate time can be devoted to the process.